It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax. So we'll sing, chat, and laugh on the Curious Giraffe Show. Welcome back, everybody. You're getting so good at that song. And now we're going to do Who's Who in the Curious Crew. Oh, except today, I'm going to ask if Donay, could you pass this over to Donay? Okay, Donay is go going to use the puppet Jeanette. So, are you ready, Donay? Uh -huh. I'm ready too. Here we go. Who's who on the Curious Crew? This is Jeanette, Hi. and this is George. He's the quiet one. <laughs> now who else is on the Curious Crew? You! Yes. Okay, Donay and Jeanette, will you ask everyone their names? What's your name? Maddie. Hi, Hi Maddie. Maddie. What's your name? Emily. Hi, Hi Emily. Emily. What's your name? Aurora. Hi, Hi Aurora. Aurora. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. Lauren. What's your name? Susanna. Hi, Hi Susanna. Susanna. What's your name? I'm Dorothy. Hi, Hi Dorothy. What's your name? Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. Okay. What's your name? Okay. Are you ready? Okay. We're going to just sing. We're going to sing this verse and the chorus, and then I'm going to surprise you. Okay, Maddie, are you ready for the Curious Giraffe song? Here we go. Oh, I hear the surprise. Okay, you can hold her for a minute. Or him. We don't know if that's a mother or a father or who. Okay, here we go. Giraffe looked over at my mother and said, I know you're so important to your family at home. I'm curious what else you do on your own. A big high five, yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Cause we can all share, and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong. And sometimes our grandmothers take care of us. Giraffe looked over at my grandmother and said, I know you're so important to your family at home. I'm curious what else you do on your own underneath this one big sky oh yeah share one big sky share one big sky give the world a big high five yeah we're different and we know it but we all get along because we can all share and we can all care we're different but we all belong and I saw you sharing, Susanna. You had it for a little while. Maddie's curious. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. You all are doing a good job sharing, just like we talk about in the song. So who else might take care of children in a home and create a family? We have mothers do, grandmothers do. Who else? Yes. Fathers. Fathers. Who else? Grandfathers. And grandfathers. Who else? Yes. Uncles and aunties. Uncles and aunties. How about if you aren't aunties. even related to someone? Could maybe someone be a family even if you weren't born into the same, same family? Sometimes they make what's called foster families. Grown-ups want to have children, and children need grown-ups, and they say, let's be a family together. Adoption. So An adoption. And they make it permanent to say, yes, we want to always be family. So there can be many different kinds of families. So I have a song that says there are all kinds of families. So Maddie, I need you and Donay. How about we'll both of you pass those back over here, and they'll watch the show, because you're going to need your hands for the show. OK, that's it. They can watch. OK, Maddie? Thank you. <laughs> OK, that's fine. They'll watch from here. OK, they're cute. All right, so let's do, there are all kinds of families. I'll, I'll lead on the verses. You all do the chorus with me, okay? 
Ready? Remember the sign for families? There are all kinds of families when we take time to see. When we look at our families, they're as different as can be. But the fact about a family is that love is a key. Yes, it's love that makes a family. Good job on the signing. Some families have a mom and dad, a boy and a girl. Some of us have folks who came from all around the world. And some families have two moms or dads, and maybe boys and girls. Oh, it's love that makes a family. I'll do it with you this time. There are all kinds of families when we take time to see. When we look at our families, they're as different as can be. But the fact about a family is that love is the key. Yes, it's love that makes a family. And some families stay together and some families change and they live in different houses but the love remains whether mommy or your daddy or grandparents tuck you in oh it's love that makes a family here we go there are all kinds of families when we take time to see when we look at our families but the fact about a family is that love is the key. Yes, it's love that makes a family. I'm going to sing one more verse. And some families have lots of pets and some families have none. But all of us have chores to do. But when the chores are done, there are special days and special ways our families have fun. Oh, it's love that makes a family. Last time, there are all kinds of families when we take time to see. When we look at our families, they're as different as can be. But the fact about a family is that love is the key. Yes, it's love that makes a family. singing. So, Aurora and Maddie, today is M Day on the Curious Giraffe Show, and we're doing Moms and More. So, who have you invited to be on the show today? We invited our mom. Yes, so we're going to make room for her on the we show. Call mama, though. It's time. She's going to come to my seat, and I'm going to come and sit behind you and watch and learn from your mom who has something special in her life to share with us. Come on up and please let us know what, um, now we all found out who's who in the Curious Crew. Who are you? What's your name? Hi, my name's Alicia Duffy. How are you guys doing today? Good. That's good. Thank you so much for inviting me on your Curious Crew. This is sure. awesome. Yeah. Um, so you asked me to come on your show to share a little bit about what I do. So I teach Irish dancing, and that's a, that's a family business that was started a long time ago. Would you guys like to learn a little bit more about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so I teach Irish dancing. I teach at the Duffy Academy, because that's my name. And mm -hmm. I teach there, and I have help from Aurora and Maddie, because I'm their mom, and they help me out at dance class sometimes. Do you, do you ever help your families out with things around the house and whatnot? Yeah. 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 It's kind of like that, but it'll maybe a little bit more work, just a little bit. <laughs> um, so in my family, as I was growing up, uh, we always did Irish dancing. That was something that was always there. And when I was little, sometimes I, I really liked it. Sometimes it was a lot of work and I didn't like it just so much. But now that I'm an adult, I really, really love it. <laughs> um, so I'd love to teach you a little bit of, about it. Uh, for for my family, my family came from Ireland, and that's where my grandparent, both my grandparents are from, 
and my grandmother, who was from Dublin, took from master teachers, and her family were all entertainers. Did you ever hear people, for fun, going to like a concert or to a show? They went to go see a band to play because mm -hmm. it's just for fun, right? Mm -hmm. um, my family were the entertainers, and, and back then, um, if you were really good, you got to perform for these halls. And these halls were where you get to meet everybody. So you would go to these, it's kind of like a big party. You would go to these halls and you would listen to great music and you'd get up there and dance and then you get to meet people, maybe somebody you had like a crush on, maybe a little bit. Uh, and that's how my grandparents met and became a couple. Yes. Okay, so I'm listening. So at this concert, you went to watch the entertainers mm -hmm. who were the dancers, but then the audience got to dance too? They did. <gasps> That's the best kind of concert. I yeah, yeah. I, I like those concerts that you get to participate in too. Okay, go ahead. Um, so that's how my grandparents came to come together. And my grandmother's side is all musicians, but then they started to do dancing as well. And so I wanted to talk a little bit about Irish dancing and why I like doing it and see if maybe you guys wanted to try some out. Um, so did you ever see Irish dancing before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of you are saying yes, some of you are like, nope, not. <laughs> so I do um, it. for Irish dancing, if you've seen it, do you notice anything very kind of strange, a little bit different about Irish dancing compared to some other dancing? I think you better show us. Well, uh, <laughs> so some of us don't have anything to compare yeah, it to. Maybe so the people who know. Irish dancers, um, they don't do a whole lot of like arm movements. There's no like Irish dancers that you see doing the disco, right? <laughs> There's um, one little kid dance where we do dance. Oh, <laughs> we go a little crazy with our Irish dancing. <laughs> so, but for most Irish dancers, what you'll typically see is that their bodies are very straight and that they keep their arms to their sides. Um, some Irish dancers do it on their hips. Yeah, that's a very popular move now, it's to, and, to have your hands upon your hips. And I get an idea. Yeah. You were gonna give me an idea? Oh, that is beautiful Irish dan uh, dancing. Can, like this. Yeah, you're a very good Irish dance dance, I guess. I'm, perhaps you have practiced a time or two, maybe. We're also not <laughs> flat-footed ever. We're either on our heels or our toes. That's oh. right, that's like right. This. Very good dance moves. Um, well, for Irish dancing, they typically keep their arms down. They'll wear shoes, like kind of like how I have on right now. They are, these ones are the soft shoes. Um, they're called gillies. Can you guys say gillies? Gillies. 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 That's kind of a silly gillies. name, don't you think? <laughs> and we also have hard shoes, which are for percussion. Those are usually everybody's favorites because they make a lot of noise and drive your families <laughs> crazy at home with the, with the tapping. So those are always exciting to get when you've earned um, enough skill level to get into that. Mm -hmm. So I have a very important question for all of you. Um, do you think that maybe you could learn some Irish dancing with me today? Mm -hmm. Do you think so? Okay, so in order for me to teach you a little bit about Irish dancing, I think I need everybody to stand up. Can we stand up? All right, you guys are in an excellent formation. What kind of shape do you think this is? Circle. This is a circle. Good job. It's supposed to be a circle, but it's more of an er oval. <laughs> shape. Yeah. We're going to pretend it's a circle right now. Yeah, uh, so this, the name of this dance that I would like to teach everyone is called the circle dance. Mm -hmm. And so you have all of my permission. If you like this dance, you can certainly teach your friends. I know a lot of my students ask me, is it okay if I do that? And uh, the answer is absolutely yes. Okay. So we're gonna do a couple different parts of this dance. The first part is skips. So we're gonna skip our right foot in and then our left foot. We're gonna get the circle really small and raise our hands up. So we're gonna hop your right foot in and hop your left foot in and we come up with our hands. And when we do this, you guys can give a big woohoo. Woo and then we're gonna hop woo. back and hop back. But we don't wanna go too close to the edge. So make sure we're staying very small close steps, to the curve. Small hops. Yeah. Okay. So we'll try that again. We do that two times. Are you ready? Here we go. And woo And open the circle up. One more time. And woo And open the circle up. You guys are great. So now we're going to move this circle to the side. And when we move to a certain side, we're going to move left first. We keep that foot in front and the other foot goes behind. So we're going to go, we're going to hop 
and then step with our left foot in front, right foot behind. Left foot in front, right behind. Good. And now we're gonna hop it back. Hop back in place. Hop back in place. And then we're gonna go to the other side. We're gonna switch. <gasps> Don't say that was awesome. <laughs> yeah. And we're gonna go to the right again. <laughs> Beautiful job, everybody. To the right, and then we're gonna hop it back. Hop it back. And we're gonna go to the right one more time. To the right side again. To the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. Hop back, hop back. And one more time to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. Hop back, hop back. And then it's because it's my favorite part, we're gonna skip in again. Ready? Woo! And go back up in the circle. Good job. One more. Woo! And little Great. steps back. Good there job. You. Now, this next part is really fun, but we have to make sure we stay in, in on the carpet so everybody can get around. This is called thread the needle, and you guys are the thread, and this is the eye of the needle. But in dance class, sometimes I call it our magic portal. <laughs> so I'm gonna have Aurora skip through, and everybody's gonna skip through and follow Aurora back around to me, back into a circle. Are you ready? Oh, Here we go. Oh, okay. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, oh, and eight, and now we're gonna go through the great. other magic portal. Are you ready? Here we go, step in just a little bit so everyone can get around. Good job, go ahead, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Good wow. job, everybody. And we're gonna skip in again, ready, here we go. Woo! Back, and back, one more time. Woo! And back, and back, and just because you've done so well. Can you take a big bow? Oh, very nice. So now I'll do something that's called lilting. So lilting is basically humming a tune. And if you guys know this tune, you oh, can help good. me. Okay. So we're gonna dance it. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. You guys did such a great job. I think you look very ready. So the first part is the favorite part. We're gonna skip in. Are you ready, Miss Maddie? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Thank you. Ready, five, six. Ready, here we go. And go to the left. Jump to the dum da 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 Now go to the right. Dum da 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 Jump to the right, to the right. Once more, hop back. Hop back to the left and left side, left side. Hop it back. Now we go in again. Here we go. And back to three and back. And in for two. Back. Now we throw the needle. Here we go. Follow roar. And two, and three, two, da, 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 and five, and six, and seven. Great job. Now follow Miss Maddie. One, and two. Good job. Go around. Three, and four, and five, and six. Doing great. Seven. Ready? Hit. Here we go. Skip in. Woo! Back for one more time. And woo! And back. And take a big bow. Good job, everyone. Wow. Wonderful. That was so fun. Well, thank you for everyone for dancing with all, everybody was so included. And this is called the, what again? Circle, Circle Dance. Circle Dance. So now you can right. teach all of your friends, especially around St. Patrick's Day. Okay. Donay, what were you just asking? Go into the mystery box. It's time for the mystery box, yeah. all right. Okay, now this time, listen before I open it. I don't know. If... Wind chime. Excellent, excellent. I brought a kind of wind chime because in our song it's going to talk about a wind chime. And this is a special kind that when the wind touches that part, isn't that gorgeous? So I'm gonna, I wanted you to see an actual wind chime before we sang about it. And this next song, in a few minutes, let's do our songs first because it's hard to sing with different notes on that. But um, this chorus goes, there was music in my mother's house. There was music all around. There was music in my mother's house and my heart's still full with the sound. Let's sing that. There was music in my mother's house. There was music all around there was music in my mother's house and my heart still full with the sound there 
there were wind chimes in the window, bells inside the clock, an organ in the corner, tunes on a music box. We sang while we were cooking or working in the yard. We sang because our lives were really hard. There was music in my mother's house. There was music all around. There was music in my mother's house. And my heart still full with the sound. And for your family, we might sing, there was dancing. Let's sing there. And here, if you want to do sign language for dancing, your fingers are like your legs, and this is like the dance floor. There was dancing. Here we go. There was dancing in my mother's house. How about, let's say, my family, so we include all our different families. There was dancing in my family's house. There was dancing all around. There was dancing in my family's house, and my heart still full with the sound. So how about Doné or Susanna or Lauren or Emily? What happens in your family? Um, I usually, I'm just, I'm just, no, what were you thinking of when you raised your hand? Um, like, I usually always want to watch TV and be lazy. So we were watching, <laughs> watching in my family's house. We like to watch things. I also know in your family you have a lot of animals. Yeah, it is you a can. lot. Shall we say something? There were animals in my family's house? Yes. Okay. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. How about you want to make a little animal with your hands? Little animals? Here we go. There were animals in my family's house. There were animals all around. There were animals in my family's house and my heart still full. What sound do animals make? Your animals. Dogs? Um, ruff, 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 ruff. Horses? Dogs, Dogs and horses. Horses. What sound do horses make? <laughs> there you go. Okay, how about uh, Susanna or Emily or Lauren? Let's get something from your families. Something your families do for Puppy. fun. How about Susanna? I usually just go to school and then I come home and feel see for a person there. Or I just meet her now around because dad's there. And then your dad uh, is there? How about there are dads in my family's house? Or there's lounging or, or do you come home and give a hug when you see somebody you know? No, I no. just What else do you do? When you come home, yeah. I just go in the house and read. Okay, there's reading. Oh, that's one. Here just we go. There, yeah, I, that, I'm like you. Okay, I like to read a lot. Here we go. There was reading. In my family's house, there was reading all around. There was reading in my family's house, and my heart still full of the sound. All right, you can hear people reading aloud, maybe. I still want Emily or Lauren to tell us a little bit about their family, what they do. Can you think of something you do just for fun? or just because you're interested, or you do it, you, some work, something your family does. Or one person in your family might really like this thing, and so you all learn about it. <laughs> um. Or just playing. Is there playing in your house? Mm -hmm. How about singing? Your family sings. You all sing my songs, right? Let's do singing. OK, and then we'll have to finish up. There was singing. In my family's house, there was singing all around. There was singing in my family's house, and my heart still full with the sound. All right. Aurora, what was your idea? When you said Donay had a lot of pets. Yes. Um, that reminded me of a story. Oh. Um, I went to a butterfly museum once. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And this kid really wanted a gecko that they had. Mm -hmm. They have like all sorts of reptiles there and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 
his grandpa was like, no way, you already have like a hundred <laughs> gajillion pets. And I'm like, oh, I don't have any. Congratulations. <laughs> and he's like, no, literally, he has like 24 rabbits, two horses, and like. Yeah, so some people really, just, just like in our family stuff. song, some of us have lots of pets and some of us have none. Okay, it's time to stand up and sing <gasps> goodbye. I'm going to get, can I hold it? You know, it will all get a turn in just a minute, okay? Because this is not going to go with our song. Can you line up for the song, please? And then, uh, well, actually, let's see if we can do it this way. Ready? Maddie, can you get in the lineup and sing, sing um, keep singing, keep looking up. Ready? And we'll hold this up to look up at, okay? Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up. Keep asking questions and never give up. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. There was music in my mother's house. There was music all around. There was music in my mother's house. And my heart still full with a sound. There were wind chimes in the window, bells inside the clock, an organ in the corner, tunes on a music box. We sang while we were cooking or working in the yard. We sang because our lives were really hard. There was music.